kind of a crowded tight end room. And one of the reasons the tight end room is so crowded is the emergence of rookie Will Mallory as a guy who can be counted on to run a little bit, catch a little bit, block a little bit. He does all of that a little bit. And he's going to do it early in the season. As you look at the tight ends, you see kind of the potential of these guys. And maybe nobody in that room, you got kind of Drew Ogletree and Will Mallory who kind of show you something, show you some spark. We had a chance to catch up with Will Mallory. So it's been a kind of a whirlwind for you. How this wound up, is this the way you anticipated it? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, just with the foot and then come back and had a hamstring at the beginning of camp, you know, not ideal. And, you know, uh, to be honest, you know, I, I was getting worried, you know, I was a fifth round pick and, um, you know, it gets a little scary, but, you know, just, hey, kind of come in every day and put the work in. And fortunately, I got some opportunities and decided to keep me around. So I just want to keep that way, keep, you know, working every single day, improving and just, you know, showing them that, you know, I belong here. Is this about stacking days for you, or do you have at the end of this some kind of expectation or some kind of goal? Uh, no, yeah, just stacking days. This is a super talented room, so i got some older guys that I'm trying to learn from and just, you know, improve my game every day and, you know, follow them and, and what they do. And, you know, we just continue to push each other. So, uh, you know, that's, that's just my goal is stack every day and just keep improving because, you know, i gotta, I got to keep getting better. What do you need to improve at? I would say everything. You know, a rookie, there's, there's, you come in, there's the playbook, you got to, you know, master that. And, uh, got a good, great coach in Tom Main that's, that's doing that and, and helping me with that. And then just, you know, the, it's a different speed, you know, you know, uh, it's the best of the best. So this is something you got to prepare for, get, you know, you know, accustomed to. It's a little different than college, but, uh, you know, I got a great group surrounding me. So I think I'm, you know, just improving every day. Is this a, is it a positive that you're playing with a rookie quarterback, a fellow rookie, or is this, uh, would it be better with a vet? Have you given it any thought? I mean, it is what it is, right? Yeah, I mean, this is my first time experience it, so I don't know. We're all doing it together. You know, that's that's the most important thing. We're staying together and we're, you know, we're getting better each and every day. So whether it's a rookie, a vet, at whatever position it is, you know, we just got to keep getting better and, you know, working together. Is there a challenge in any way playing with Anthony? Uh, no, I mean, I think it's just some, a guy who, you know, brings a lot out of the offense. He's someone who can do it all. He can throw it, he can run it. And that's something really hard for defenses to prepare for. So having that 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 on our side is, is awesome. That's what you want. He's got a fastball, though, right? You comfortable with throw, balls being thrown, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour? <laughs> hey, no, as long as he gets it there, that's his job. He gets it to us, and we gotta you got to make the play. Jacksonville preparing for a game i mean it's your first time doing that what are your expectations trying to get ready for somebody oh uh, yeah you know just dive into to the, the game plan whatever that is and you know the you know, call of action you know uh just whenever your, your number gets called you got to make plays so that's on special teams that's on offense in any way that i can contribute you know whatever they ask of me that's something i wanted to let them know since day one whatever they ask me i want to want to try and help in any way that i can your grandpa. Mm. What kind? I know you get asked a lot about it being in Indiana, and yeah. Bill Mallory, absolutely a, a legend, a guy yeah. who took Indiana and lifted it to a place where it had not been in a long time. Yes, what made him special, and what makes him special for you? Uh, you know, he's someone I looked up to my whole life, and it was obviously more as a grandfather, and then. You know, later in my life, I learned about just more of all the people that he impacted. And I think that's something that stuck with me is, you know, it's, it's about how you, how you treat people, how you know, how, how you go about working, you're working hard, and treat people the right way, doing everything the right way. And that's just kind of what I've picked up from every person that I've met that's either known him or worked for him or was around him. And that means a lot to me, means a lot to my family. So, uh, you know, I'm just honored to be back in this, in this state. And, you know, that a lot of people know who he is, and it, that makes me feel good. Got to ask about Bill Mallory, right? The namesake of Will Mallory, the former football coach at Indiana University, passed away a couple of years ago. And, and hearing about how Bill Mallory impacted the life of Will Mallory kind of speaks to the generationality of football and, and of the Mallory family, probably the first family of football in the state of Indiana.